Family Lead Farmer 73 here. I'm going to show you how we grow food indoors hydroponically. Easy as one, two, three. Let's go. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a deep bucket. We're going to do this the deep way. Okay, with a nice rigid lid on it and nice rigid side because water is going to go in here. Next, you're going to need a drill with a hole saw on it. You're gonna be making those big holes for your net cups because this is where your plant will start growing in the hydroponic tank. Okay, so you're gonna need eight of these. Then you want some rock wool to plant your seed in. And of course, your seed. So we're gonna do red mustard greens today. One of my favorites. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is mark everywhere where I want a cup to be. So I'm gonna mark it here. I'ma skip one. I'ma mark it here. I'ma skip one and mark it over here. And I'ma do the same over here, over here, and over here. And I'ma put two in between. You don't want to crowd this too close because all of your vegetation is going to take up all of this room. So you don't want to put one in every single square. You don't want them too close. So all we're going to do is drill this circle out right where we marked in the center of each one of these squares. Your top might look a little different. It doesn't matter. It's still the same. You don't want your plants too close together. So I'm gonna drill these out right now. Okay, you guys, here's our results. At the end, we got eight holes right here in our lid. And all we're gonna do now is take a knife and clean this up a little bit, get all these shavings off. Let them dump into the bucket and then we'll dump the bucket and we'll go from there. Okay, we got our holes drilled. They're not gonna be perfectly smooth unless you took the time to do it that way. Okay, next thing we do is get your net cups ready. Have your cups ready and it's just this simple. Place your lid back on the bucket. Now we're just gonna add our net cups. Right in the hole, just sit them down in the hole. All right, we got our drill again with a paddle bit because we have one more hole to drill. If you plan on running an air hose in here to aerate your water, so I like to drill a totally separate hole Just like that. That way you can get your air tube or your air stone right down in there and you don't have to bother with any of your net cups. All right, Miss Craft, I'm trying it again. Hydroponics, here we come. Got our water in. Get my net cups in there. I'm gonna have to drop this water. I can see a little bit. So all I'm gonna do is take my rock wool and take a red mustard green seed. I'm gonna drop that right down in that little hole. So all I'm gonna do, I dropped about two of them down there and I'm gonna just set it down there in the water. Put the rock wool in here. I'm gonna get
get some seeds started. What you want to put in here, baby? Lettuce? Okay guys, this is our hydroponic setup. Weeks later, where the roots have already dug in, we've been harvesting. You can see the white roots spread out through the basket. We've been harvesting the lettuce. And best of all, look at the size of our leek onions now. This is where they were cut when we first did this. Now all of this is new growth. Here's the best part. Get a look at the roots on that leek. Huh? Incredible, right? Look down in the bucket at the rest of the roots. Can you see them? Incredible, incredible. Let's get you back where you belong. So there you go, you guys. All I've been using is a little bit of liquid seaweed. That's the only thing I've added. When I say very, very small amounts, very small amounts. So far, I've only given him one dose since I've started this whole thing. But look at the results. Can't beat that. So if they tell you it don't work, tell them come check this video out. All right, Lead Farmer 73 and Lady Lead, and we got our hydroponics started. Thank you, Miss Craft, as always. Lead Farmer 73, we love you and we out.